welcome you all for this uh, today's session uh, this is your ninth session and uh, second session of your second module okay so just a continuation of the last uh, session uh, html tables okay html tables in last class we discussed about uh, uh, tables so how we can display uh, tables on our web page right okay so there i have mentioned uh, table sections like t head okay so t body and again so t foot so that i already mentioned this uh, three tags so and i have already given an uh, example for that uh, how you are going to use that uh, uh, section and all is it right so why we need this section means in order to style uh, each section differently we need to mention okay so for example entire table will have a one style of uh, mean uh, one set of uh, style so suppose i want to style header different and again body different and footer different so here these tags these tags will help to uh, divide tables into a section so then we can apply our own uh, style for each and every section so that means header one style uh, footer one style body you know another style like that okay so how means so i will take the last uh, session example and i will uh, modify slightly uh, in order to make you people to understand what this section is and why we need this section tags okay fine so uh, this is what the example i have taught in the previous session so now look into the small changes i have done for the previous program is what so t foot instead of this t foot comes after this uh, t body i have written uh, in between t head okay t head and t body so instead of writing this t foot at the end uh, i have written that you know in between t head and t body so now if i'll run this program you can observe the output so here you can see that even though i have written t foot after t head so that row with the column span 3 and uh, row 3 column 1 text so that row has appeared at the end of the table itself okay at the end of the table itself why because so i have declared that as a t foot so t foot is nothing but table foot which is always comes uh, at the bottom of that table okay so that is also row that is also data but it will always display in the last row even though i have defined in between it will display that you know last row okay fine so now what's the use of this section is the only uh advantage of uh, t8 the t body and t foot no so we can add a style for each and every section separately how means so i have left some space over here right in order to uh write style is it right so now instead of this uh, uh table and all so now i can write so t body okay so t body open flower braces so now i can add uh border border okay okay border hyphen top colon one point solid black okay solid black now i'm going to close this with a semicolon and again now i'm going to close so this flower braces okay so now uh if i'll run this program okay if i'll run this program you can notice the output so here this uh, border top that mean top of the body will be appeared with the one point solid black border okay so that is what that is how we are we can use this uh, uh, section in order to style uh, all this header body and uh, footer in a different style so let's move on to a few more examples uh, of uh, styling tables okay table stylings so let us consider this example okay 
So, intentionally I have left uh, this uh, uh, space ok. So, open head I have using what uh, ti uh, title table section. So, next one is what closing head tag. So, next one is body. So, within that body I have created table. So, first row is what the heading row th because I have here I am using what th. So, that is why it is what heading row. So, in that heading row f name l name and h so these three are what heading of a table so under that again i'm creating one more row so under name first name so here ajay is up here okay so in this table second row first element is what ajay first name kumar second name okay last name and again uh, age is what 29 and next row sharad kumar age is what 30 and again in the next row so, Puneet Prakash and the age is what 26. So, and again I have closed this uh, table ok. So, you can see this uh, you can notice this TR is closed here again TR is closed here again TR, this TR is closed here ok. So, likewise here I am going to close this table body HTML ok. So, now you can notice the output ok. Now, you can notice the output. So, the output with the heading f name l name and age followed by three rows of uh, uh, code ok information. So, this table would not have any border right would not have any border. So, now how to insert border means as I already uh, discussed in the previous session. So, we can use what uh, border equal to 1 in a table tag or else so style table is it right. So, now I am going to write this. So, style ok style. So, within that so now I need to style this table right ok. So, for that table open flower braces border ok colon one point solid black ok. So, solid black close this uh, put semicolon and close this flower braces. So, now again I am going to close this style here ok. So, I am going to close this style. So, now, now I have applied this the border of one point solid line black color is it right black color one point solid line for the table. Now, if I will run this program ok, if I will run this program you can notice that the table has outer border is it right the table has outer border. Now, uh, suppose I want to uh, insert mean I want to I want border for uh, data means. So, here I need to write so td td border one point solid black ok solid black. Now, if I will run this program, so now you can notice that there is a separate border for table ok and again separate border for each td, so, td is nothing but cell is it right. So, there is a separate border and those two uh, outer border and the cell border, so those two borders are different ok. So, that is why you can notice that, so there is a two two borders in between each cell is that right two lines of border between each cell ok. So, in order to make it one ok in order to make it one what I need to uh, write here ok. So, yes. So, here uh, within table style ok within table style. So, border border iPhone collapse collapse colon collapse colon collapse. So, now it is going to collapse. So, both the borders ok you can notice that in a output. So, it will collapse both the uh, borders of uh, cell as well as table is it right ok. So, now 
uh, this border one point solid black border one point solid black is common for both the table as well as td right okay so uh, why need to repeat these two lines so can we write that in a one uh, uh, style yes we can write both in a one style okay so what i have to write here so now i have to apply that style for both uh, table td and th of course you can you can consider that for th also okay so now table comma td comma th okay th open flower braces because this is what the style right so so for that so i need to open flower braces so under that so border border colon one point solid black so you can change any color over here okay so black so next one okay so if i do so again you will get what two lines so instead uh, instead of that you need to get you want that one line in between means so here uh, border collapse colon collapse okay so now if i'll run this program so you can notice that uh, you will have what only one border in between td td is nothing but cell as well as table border okay so the, that is only one border right okay fine so next so if the properties that means style properties are common i can put that you know one flow braces okay all together just by separating uh, these tags with a comma right okay suppose so i want to apply heading style is quite different from other two means so must and should you need to keep that in a separate uh, style that mean separate flower braces got it so for example here i have put this border common right okay so suppose assume that you are going to use what four uh, types of styles for all three okay suppose th i need to change only one style for th means so you must write that in a separate uh, flower braces okay you need to put that in a uh, separate tag okay fine so next so now uh, we can make uh, this table even uh, decorative okay so even more uh, attractive so here i'm going to write uh, th okay so th th open flower braces so text align text align so colon left left okay so by default our uh, text is what uh, uh left only is that right so left so now if i'll change that to a center okay so text align center so which text i am going to change your th th stand for what so table header is nothing but f name l name h so if it is center means so you can notice that in our output so it will be up here uh, in a center of a cell okay so what if it is left okay so left side of the cell you can notice that in our output okay right means right side of the cell okay so this is what the text alignment so now i'll make a small change for this uh, same table okay so th so here all the rows and header will have a same uh, background color right so if i want to change the background color of uh, th okay heading so that is th open flower braces so background iphon color okay so colon colon so i'm going to write black okay so i'm going to write black so that mean even text as well as background 
both are in a black color right so in order to display uh, our text on our background color black so i have to change that color of the text so for that color color colon white color colon white so now if i'll run this program so what about the table heading background black color so what about the color of the text it is in a white color so now you can notice that the uh, uh, table is what uh, some more attractive uh, i mean uh, it is some more uh, good to see uh, when we are compared to the previous one right okay so now so next one i'm going to modify the same program in order to get uh, zebra table zebra table is nothing but what so first row is what the white color second row maybe a gray or black color like that okay so odd num uh, odd row and even row will have different colors okay so how how we can do that so see uh, th is what the background black color okay fine so next so I have to change the table row okay so table row you know zebra color it's nothing but alternative black and white or black shade gray or whatever okay like that so now tr tr colon nth child okay so nth child so you need to write nth it is stand for what nth okay nth iphone child nth child in bracket so i'm going to write uh, even okay i'm going to write even now open the flower braces okay now open the flower braces so now you write so background background iphone color colon gray okay so close this so close the flower braces so now look here header with the background color black and the color is what text of that uh, color of the text is what white and again what about the tr so up to nth child okay so up to nth child so suppose you want to apply only for the first four rows means so fourth child okay like that so up to nth child even rows okay all even rows that means second row fourth row so like that okay second fourth sixth eighth like that so for the even row background color equal to what gray okay it's not equal colon so background color is what gray so now if i'll run this program so you can notice that so this uh, table is what uh, is uh, quite more uh, uh, good to see when we are compared with the previous one right yeah so next okay so now i'm going to change from even to odd okay so even to odd so uh, instead of even uh, rows so now odd rows that mean so first one okay here i'm talking about tr so these three adai sharat punit and all okay so now if i'll run this you can notice that there is a change bit uh, uh, now uh, the output there is a change right okay so this is how we can uh, uh, style our table even more decorative okay so we can make use of what uh, uh, here uh, within th so border bottom so as i already told you that so b capital b or small b so it's a case insensitive okay case insensitive that mean i can use any case letters so uh border bottom colon double okay so border bottom double background color black and color is what white so now again if i'll run this program so there is a border at the bottom of the heading because i have applied this property for th right okay so now it looks even more uh better right okay so this is how we can decorate our table uh
will move on to uh, forms okay html forms so html forms so what do you mean by html forms so actually we are using this uh, forms so when we want to re uh, collect some uh, data from site visitors so for example username password or else uh, username uh, and uh, uh, email id of uh, user is it right that mean a uh, website visitor overall uh, visiting that website so in order to collect some data from visitors so we are going to use what form okay html form so and form will collect all the input information and then will post it to backend applications such as okay php cgi like that so as i already told you that uh, here we have both uh, front end as well as back end is it right from the front end okay from the front end it will collect all the information and it will give that to a back end in order to process so for that here html in html we are going to use so form tag in order to collect that information okay so in order to collect the information we are going to use so form tag okay fine now look into uh, syntax of uh, form tag okay so syntax form okay so form within that action equals within double quotes script url and again so followed by method equals get or post okay so then followed by uh, form elements like input text area uh, and then next uh, radio buttons checkbox and all okay so these are all what form elements so next one so we need to close this form look here i have opened here and i have to close this open tag of form within that here there are two attributes so one is action another one is method is it right so next one is what so form elements okay followed by uh, form elements so next one is what form so example of form so i, I can you can uh, see that in on uh, screen so this is how uh, forms will look like okay in that we have text box radio buttons and all so at the end of that uh, submit button is it right okay so now uh, this is what the form tag here this is what the closing form tag so action okay so what it mean action equal to script url here you go, uh, we are going to here uh, this url stand for uh, actual uh, back end code okay back end application code url so that so this form this form is collecting all the information right so where it has to send okay so in order to process that data okay so that front end form is only collecting the information from the front end and it, and it will pass that to a, a back end code right that back end code url must be right here okay so in order to take action on that code so here we need to write back end code application url so next one is method either it is what get or post that i will come to that okay i will explain that later so followed by what form elements okay so and also it will also include what uh, uh, here i have written what uh, two attributes which will also uh, we have two more attributes in this uh, form tag so here target target is nothing but once after posting this information where it has to come back okay so blank is nothing but it's a blank page self is nothing but written back to the same page parent is nothing but you can see that in your website under home will have us, uh, so many options so when you click on home button it will return back to the home itself right okay so that is how uh, that is what the parent so under home will have uh, so many pages so many options so once you click on that uh, I mean if that uh, target is of type of parent it will uh, back to uh, home itself okay so that's what example next one is what 
ENC type. ENC type, type is nothing but encryption type. So you already studied CNC. Okay. So why we need that encryption and all you all know that. Okay. So this is what encryption type. Okay. What type of encryption you are going to use uh, in order to send this information to the backend. Okay. To the backend. Got it. So uh, next we'll move on to form elements. So HTML form control or form elements, which are all the form elements which are supported by what uh, uh, form tag is nothing but HTML form uh, tag is nothing but okay. So input text controls, okay. So text input controls in order to read the information, in order to read the input in the form of text, okay. So next one checkbox controls. Okay, so you can see the you already noticed that in our many websites uh, we have a uh, boxes. So when we click on that, you can get uh, get what right mark in, on top of that is it right. So that is what the checkbox. Next one is what radio uh, buttons. So out of uh, many option, if I want to select any one means, uh, so we can make use of this uh, radio boxes or radio buttons. Okay, so next one is what select boxes. Select boxes is nothing but it's a drop down list. So in a drop down list. Uh, we can select uh, one or uh, more options okay so that is what the drop down list next one is file select boxes file select boxes is nothing but uh, in order to upload or download files is it right so usually when we, uh, we are using this uh, okay usually we are using this uh, uh, for file uploading okay so in order to select the file which is located in our local system Okay, so in order to select that, uh, we need to give some means, right, on our uh, web page, so we can achieve that through uh, buttons. Okay, boxes. So next one is what clickable buttons. So clickable button is nothing but normal. Okay, button, submit button, reset button. Okay, which are all the button you can see on our website is what the uh, clickable buttons. You can click on that buttons right that's why we call it as what clickable but uh, next is what submit and reset buttons okay along with this we ha will also have what some hidden controls so like uh, you can notice that uh, so we have a previous and uh, next button on our web page right so we don't know where it will be uh, so next button and previous button on our web pages right okay so actually we don't know so which is the next page and all okay that is the hidden things okay fine so these are all what uh, html form controls so that's it for today's uh, session so next uh, in our coming session we'll discuss this each of this uh, controls so in detail one by one so along with syntax and uh, whatever the attributes which is supported by uh, these uh, controls and all okay so we'll also call it as elements okay control as well as elements okay Thank you.